New Hubble. Data just dropped, and it shows something nobody was expecting. Three jets, not two, three, and they're spaced exactly 120 degrees apart. Not roughly, not approximately, exactly. Like someone drew a perfect triangle and placed a jet at each vertex. Subscribe right now, because what I'm about to show you is either the weirdest natural symmetry we've ever seen, or it's something else entirely. All right, so here's what the processed Hubble images reveal. On large scales, out to 100,000 kilometers, you've got that dominant anti-tail jet pointing toward the sun. We've talked about that, long, narrow, focused. But zoom in, scale down to about 24,000 kilometers, and something completely different shows up. Three jets, one pointing roughly away from the sun, and two others pointing sideways. And those sideways jets, they're oriented plus or minus 120 degrees relative to each other. 360 degrees divided by three, perfect spacing. That's not random. That's not sort of symmetrical. That's geometric. And here's where it gets weirder. The orientation of these three jets is changing over time, presumably as the nucleus rotates, but the 120 degree spacing, that stays constant. So you've got a rotating body with three active regions that maintain perfect angular separation as they sweep around. Now, the natural comet interpretation says these jets are coming from major pockets of ice on the surface of a rotating nucleus. The one pointing at the sun creates that prominent anti-tail extending 100,000 kilometers. The other two could be triggered by heat conduction through the body. Solar energy absorbed on the day side working its way through the interior and activating vents on other parts of the surface. And the math kind of works. The rotation period is about 16 hours. The minor jets vary in extent by about 5,000 kilometers over roughly 8 hours. That's possible with a jet speed around 0.2 kilometers per second, which matches the thermal speed of volatile molecules from su sublimating ice. But here's the problem. Having a coherent anti-tail jet on a scale that's an order of magnitude larger, 100,000 kilometers, requires stability over much longer periods. And the only way you get that stability is if the rotation axis is nearly aligned with the direction of the sun. So the anti-tail jet precesses in a small cone around the rotation axis, like a lighthouse beam that wobbles slightly but stays basically pointed in the same direction. Here's where the numbers get uncomfortable. The anti-tail jet is about 10 times longer than it is wide. That geometry suggests the misalignment between the rotation axis and the sun's direction is less than 6 degrees. And the probability of that alignment happening at random? About 0.2%. 1 in 500. So either we got incredibly lucky and caught 3i atlas during a rare geometric configuration, or that alignment isn't random. And when you combine that with the perfect 120 degree spacing of the inner jets, you're stacking coincidences. Loeb asks the question directly, are the symmetric triple jet inner structure or the unlikely alignment of the rotation axis with the direction of the sun technological signatures? Or can they be a natural outcome of gas dynamics? He doesn't claim to know the answer. He's just pointing out that the geometry is weird. So here's where we are. You've got three jets spaced exactly 120 degrees apart. You've got a rotation axis aligned with the sun to within six degrees. A configuration with a 0.2% probability of occurring randomly. And you've got all of this maintaining coherence over timescales that push the limits of what natural sublimation should be able to sustain. Natural explanation? It's possible comets can have multiple active regions. Heat conduction can trigger vents on the night side, and geometric alignments, however unlikely, do happen sometimes. But if you were designing a propulsion system, three thrusters spaced 120 degrees apart is exactly what you do for stability. Perfect balance, no net torque, and aligning your primary thrust vector with the direction you're traveling, that's just efficient. Again, this isn't proof, it's pattern recognition, and the pattern is symmetrical in ways natural processes rarely produce. Time will tell. More observations are coming. Webb is watching. Ground-based telescopes are tracking this thing as it moves away. If you want to see what those observations show, if you want to know whether this symmetry holds or breaks down as we get more data, subscribe and turn on notifications because we just went from wobbling jets to perfectly spaced triple jet structure with improbable alignment. And that's a very different conversation. I'll see you in the next one.